Hello Year 7 and Year 8 and welcome to week 2 on the particles topic. This is your first lesson of 2. So the facts that you need to learn, these are found in your fact book that was delivered through the post and are probably upstairs in your bedrooms or in a room somewhere. Make sure you are looking over those. If you don't know where it is, they're in front of you now, the facts that you need to learn from this lesson. So you need to know the three states of matter. You need to know how you get from a solid to a liquid, how you get from a liquid into a gas, how you get from gas to a liquid and how you change from a liquid to a solid. So, like we always start with, there are four questions that you need to answer. The first one, what does the cell membrane do? Give an example of diffusion in plants, give an example of a unicellular organism, and name the three states of matter. So, they are testing you on all the previous subjects and the topics that we've covered, so it's not just the one that we're doing now, it's checking that you are learning those facts that we have given you. So, I will give you a few minutes, if you can pause the video, that would be great. Thank you. Okay, so let's have a look at how you got on with that. So the cell membrane, that controls what goes in and out of the cell. Give an example of diffusion in plants. That's water getting into the plant via the root hair cell. An example of a unicellular organism is eugelina. And name the three states of matter, which are solid, liquid and gas. So that was one of your facts that you need to learn from this lesson. Okay, so matter. There are actually four states of matter, but you only need to know about three for your science lessons. The three states of matter that you need to know are solid, liquid and gas. The fourth one is in fact plasma, but it's not something that you need to know facts about. It's just solid, liquid and gas. So you've got two minutes to look around you and then write down as many solids, liquids and gases that you can think of or that you can see directly in front of you. So if you can pause the video for a few minutes and have a go, that would be great. Thank you. Okay, so hopefully you've managed to find a few different examples of solids, liquids and gases. So, for example, a desk in front of you, a table, the laptop would be a solid, liquid if you've got any water or juice near you. Gases, there's gases around you. Hopefully you've thought of those examples. Okay, so let's have a look then at the next one. So, water can be solid, liquid or gas, and it will depend on how much energy you've got into which state that it will go. So, if you start off with something solid, such as ice, then if it starts to gain energy, then it will start to move into water. It's losing that energy that it's gained. So, it's starting to, particles are starting to move away and steam is now starting to be formed. And as you go the other way, it's going to start gaining the the energy as well. So if it's losing energy, it's going from a gas into a liquid into a solid, sorry if that was a little bit of a confusion, ice into water. That means that it's gaining energy because they're getting more energetic, the particles, and going from a liquid, so water into steam, it's gaining that energy, they're starting to move around more randomly, and then going the other way from steam to water to ice, that's when it's starting to lose the energy because they're starting to form those different kinds of particle diagrams. So as you can see here, the important ones that we need to start looking at, going from a solid into a liquid is melting, liquid into a gas is evaporating, and going the other way, gas into liquid is condensing, and liquid into freezing is, sorry, liquid into a solid is freezing. So as you can see with the particle diagrams, a solid is in thick shape, Liquid, they move a bit more randomly, and in gas, they are separated apart. They're not touching at all, and they have got a lot of energy and move at speed. So as you can see here, it's just another diagram that's got a few bits more information on. Again, it's repeating about evaporation, condensation, melting and freezing, but this time it's got two different ones. So it's got solid going into a gas, which is sublimation, and then it's got a gas going into a solid, which is desublimation or deposition. So they're the different kinds of states of matter and how you change into those different states of matter and it will depend on the energy. So as you're going from a solid through to a gas, it's gaining that energy because they're moving around, they're gaining it, they're colliding together. Whereas if you're going the other way, from a gas to a solid, they're losing that energy and they're starting to form that compact shape of the particle diagram for a solid. Okay, so that is week two, particles lesson one, and next week, or oh, lesson two, sorry, not next week, you'll be looking at the following facts. So we'll be looking at how particles are separated. So there's the four facts in front of you. You need to make sure that you're learning those for the next lesson, as well as trying to remember all the other previous facts that we've learned.
I will see you soon. Bye.